Welcome back to Redneck Tech. Today's video, we're going to talk about a question that we get all the time, which is, man, your job is really cool. How do I get into the hunting industry? Getting into the hunting industry is very unique. There's not a right way to do it. There's not a a college course, there's not a degree program, there's not an internship, there's not a guy to go talk to, there's not a recruiter to know, there's not a direct path, let's just say that. Um, when I was trying to get in the industry about going on 12 years ago now, you had to know somebody. Um, not anymore, uh, you can get there on skill and merit alone, but I think nowadays the biggest thing that as me now as an employer in the outdoor space, what I wanna see is that, first of all, the number one thing is that you're a good person, that you're someone that can go into a camp with just about anybody, and I wouldn't have to worry about you acting like an idiot. Um, people want you around, uh, you enjoy being around new people, you enjoy being in new places. You're not the guy that talks the whole time, you listen more than you talk and you are just not necessarily a fly on the wall, but you know when to get involved, you know when to talk, and you know when to shut up. And that's really important. And that's, a, that's kind of an emotional skill that some people just don't have. Um, I think that emotional intelligence is really, really important for this business because we're around so many different people, so many different egos. That's the first thing I'm gonna look for. And that's the first thing I ask is when somebody refers a new person to me, I'm like, well, are they a dick? Or are they, are they good to hang out with? Like, are there somebody I could hang out with when we're not working? Because that's important. The second thing is, and if you've listened to any of our podcasts, you know what I'm going to say is, you have to be a good communicator. You have to be somebody that answers the phone. You have to be somebody that replies to emails. You can't be a flake like every other person on the face of God's earth. Uh, those of you sitting there watching this video, I know you've got 15 unread texts and 30 unread emails that you, for some reason, haven't gotten back to. I have a question for you. Do you like to wait on people when you have a question? Well, then why should you expect other people to wait on you? Um, it's kind of that goes back to that golden rule, do unto others as you'd have them do unto you. And that's kind of how I approach it. I don't want to wait on you for answers, so I'm not going to wait, make you wait on me for answers or anything else. Um, answering your phone, answering your email, there's no excuse for being a bad communicator. If you're a bad communicator, you say I'm bad at texting, then that's just an excuse. That's, that's a terrible excuse. Um, I think being a good communicator and being someone that people can rely on is the number one piece of advice for any job outside just the hunting industry. Be reliable. Um, if you say you're going to do something, do it. And if you think what I'm telling you is like, well, that's basic knowledge. Yeah, it is. Most people are terrible at the basics. And I think that's why we've been, you know, as remotely successful as we have is we're really good at the little things. Most people aren't good at the little things. They're not good at client relations, they're not good at communication, they're not good at being on time, they're not good at following up, they're not good at organization, and those are all things that it takes, those are skills. This is a very, very unique job with very, very vast skill sets that you have to have. I'm not saying you have to have all of them day one, but you've got to be coachable, you've got to want to learn. It's a, a job that a lot of people want, but they don't understand what it is. There's a lot of common misconceptions to what this job is. Um, it is work, it is a job, it is a lot of time away. It is a lot of hunting, but it's a lot of hunting behind the camera. So that's something that you have to cope with before you get here because I know a lot of guys have come into this business before thinking that it was just going hunting. And it's not that. Um, I don't care how much you love to hunt or love to fish or love to do anything. If you do it for 52 days straight with no, no days off, it gets kind of old. Um, you've got to be crazy, crazy mentally tough to do it. Uh, you've got to go and do things and hunt places and meet people that aren't nice and it's not fun. Um, but I think that the fun ones outweigh the bad ones. Uh, another piece of advice that I'd give you is you're probably going to have to work for free. And I know that sounds like it sucks. You're going to have to work for free for just a little while. I did it for two and a half years, going on three years before I got into this because it's what I wanted to do and I wanted to gain experience. And I think experience is vastly outweighs any kind of degree or any kind of formal education in this. Um, 
I think if you already know how to hunt and fish, that's more valuable than knowing how to run a camera. I can teach a monkey how to run a camera. But if you don't have all these life skills, if you don't have the communication skills, if you don't have the want to and the drive to do it and the passion for it, um, I don't think this is a job for you. If you're just wanting to go hunting every day, this isn't the job for you. So I think that being honest with yourself and what your goals are. Another thing that I, I would, I'd ask people that say they want to get into this business is, do you want to be in front of the camera or behind the camera? If you want to be in front of the camera, be honest. I was never a guy that wanted to be in front of the camera as I sit in front of the camera right now. But I also realized that my skill set was in telling stories and, managing, and building a team. And that's what I get to do every day and I'm very happy with that. Now we're trying to give you guys the knowledge of how we got here and why we do the things we're doing. That's why I'm on camera. That's the only reason. If you want to be the guy on camera, be honest with yourself. Um, I know a lot of guys that get into this business because eventually they want to be Michael Waddell. Well, there's only one Michael Waddell. Um, I learned early on, I wanted to be behind it. I wanted to be the guy that kind of had my fingers on the buttons that manipulated the story that got to uh, be creative in that, that aspect. I think you got to be honest with yourself as to what your goal is. Um, and if you really want to do this and you're willing to work for free, then the advice I have is find someone or a company or a show or a series that you enjoy, reach out to them and say, hey, what would it take to get me there to learn? Don't ask for money, don't ask for product, just say I'm willing to work for six months for absolutely nothing and I'll prove to you I'm the best person that you've ever had work for you. You won't have to pay me, I'll pay my own way. And if you're willing to do that, if you're willing to, to do those things, if you're willing to put yourself out there, um, and you do what you say you're going to do, there'll probably be a job for you after six months. But you got to be willing to do it. If you're passionate enough and you're honest with yourself and you have the interpersonal skills and you want to learn and you want to be coachable. Um, but in terms of one right way to do this, I know guys have gotten this business every which way. There's no one right way. Um, we're always here. We've always told you guys, if you ever have questions, to reach out to us at rednecktechpodcast at gmail.com. We'll answer any questions we can. We'll help you in any way we can. You also know that we give classes all the time. We have people that are recruited from our classes every year. Um, you know, half the guys that work here came from our classes or the podcast. You know, we have, I've had three clients in the last month reach out looking for a full-time employee for their business to do exactly what we do. And they want people that have come through our class. It's important. And that experience is invaluable. Um, and when you come to one of our classes, it is absolutely a fire hose of information. But if you pay attention and lots of people come back multiple times because of how much information it is, and this is what you want to do. It's a great career path just to come to our classes and get to know us. I said all that to essentially say you have to be emotionally intelligent. You have to be able to communicate and answer your phone. You have to be able to willing to work for free if you have to, and you have to have that passion to do it no matter what it takes. And I think if you have those skills and you're willing to do the things that it takes, then you'll get a job doing this. Um, once you you know, get married and have some kids and get a career, it's a lot harder to step out and do it. Uh, if you're young and single, this is, a, this is a young man's game. I'm not gonna sit here and lie and say it's not. But um, it's also a job that if I can do it, anybody can do it. So reach out to us if you need anything. All you got to do is search Redneck Tech Podcast and you'll find us on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, really anywhere.